Our first awardee is an architecture firm founded in the year 1945. They have played a major role in designing the urban landscape in India and always aim to create a built environment of lasting impact. They have designed multiple IGBC rated projects which include green factories of Ingersoll at Kanjipuram, Mineti at Sri Perumbudur, apart from green office buildings like Wipro Development Center at Coimbatore, just to name a few. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce the IGBC Green Champion Award for CR Narayana Rao Consultants Private Limited from Chennai under the category of Architects Leading the Green Building Movement in India. We are privileged to have architect Padmashri C. N. Raghavendran, Managing Director CRN with us today. Sir, I would request you to receive the award from the dignitaries. I find it a great learning experience to come here year after year and meet international and national uh, champions of green building and uh, discuss and advance the cause of green building and the best practices globally and also the new directions that the green building will take in future and also interact how different climatic regions of India, what sort of solutions people have come up with. and. Uh, this is a very unique uh, opportunity for uh, people across India to come together in one forum and I don't think it's parallel anywhere in the country in any other body. Indian Green Building Movement was a baby 20 years ago and today it's a very powerful and very meaningful body which is uh, driving, it's a driving engine for the Green Building Movement in India and uh, a very successful one at that. Um, I, as an architect, uh, was very attracted to the concept of green building right in my college days. Um, I did my master's in architecture degree in the University of California at Berkeley. And coincidentally, the name of the college was Environmental Design Studio. And uh, that was in 1967. Nobody was concerned about the environment those days. And this great institution put me on to the environmental as an important uh, you know, aspect of the future uh, development. And I practiced and designed buildings which are green by nature, mm -hmm. even before the green building was formally inaugurated and formally reshaped. And once the platform of green building came into existence with the, with the proper uh, guidelines and parameters and so on, it, we were very, uh, very, uh, it was very inviting for us to to you know, meet the challenge and do it. And I was also fortunate to be associated with Green Building Movement right from the beginning. And I was the chairman of the committee which uh, translated uh, the Indian new building uh, rating system way back. And uh, that has of course been revised and so on. I was also involved in the revised uh, rating system for new buildings. And currently I'm actually working with the group uh, which is developing a rating system for hotels. Yeah. Now, I think Green Building Movement has uh, taken across the uh, uh, spectrum. It's not only the industries and institutions and buildings, but right down to colleges, schools. And that's a remarkable aspect of what IGBC is doing today. They are sowing the seed of greenness to young boys and girls in India, right at the very formative ages. And I'm sure this will contribute to a great extent as to what the Green Building Congress will be, say, 50 years from now. Today, architects, particularly those who are graduating from colleges, are very conscious of their surroundings and environment because of repeated messages from institutions like IGBC. So it's not like the days when we learned uh, the you know, architecture from colleges, but today people are very conscious. And architects take to Green Building like fish to water. In fact, uh, I have seen some of the, uh, I have been on the jury for this green uh, college design concept, uh, design uh, competition. And some of the ideas that students come up with are amazing, amazing concepts because they are not constrained by a professional working in an actual field. There are hundreds of constraints. But here, the college students are free to think and they come up with most amazing and innovative solutions. And I would suggest to this green building movement, 
who have been building budding architects uh, that building should perform creativity and creating uh, no newly uh, designed buildings should last and should provide comfort and health for the occupants it should also meet the requirements of the planet it should be eco friendly it should not consume more than what it can uh, produce and uh, it must make a very healthy living for people so focus on this you know apart from all the great styles and so on the development of architecture itself today has become very focused on uh, the environment and planet environment because we you know they they come across lots of messages all that uh, you know climate change and the, the impact of climate change is, is is all available at every turn of the paper you see this message so be focused on this because this is what is going to provide you a platform for the future uh, way how uh, buildings and india is a growing country lots of uh, buildings have to be built immense a program will be there and if we build wrong we'll lose the benefit of the uh one of the most challenging one of the most admirable countries uh we will become a uh, junkia if we design badly in future it's a great experience to be here and thank you